peace is a fruit of righteousness. Isaiah 32, verses 17 and 18. The work of righteousness will be peace, and the effect of righteousness, quietness and assurance forever. My people will dwell in a peaceful habitation, in secure dwellings, and in quiet resting places. These verses in Isaiah bring out a very important truth concerning peace, concerning walking in peace. And of course, this is reiterated or restated in several other places in Scripture. And we may refer to one or two more. The truth is this, that when we walk in righteousness, it is then that we experience peace. The work of righteousness or the fruit of righteousness, the effect of righteousness, this passage tells us, is peace, it's quietness and assurance always. He says that his people will live in peaceful habitations or peaceful dwelling places where there is security, where there is quietness and where there is rest. Now, isn't that something all of us desire? That we want to have a home, we want to have dwellings, but there is peace, there is security, there is quietness, there is confidence, assurance. Uh, that these are ways in which we describe well-being, we describe peace. But the key that God points to, points us to is this, that there is the work of righteousness produces this. We must walk in righteousness. Like the Bible says in Isaiah 48, verse 22, there is no peace, says the Lord, for the wicked. That means when we engage in wickedness or somebody engages in doing what is unrighteous, that will not leave us in peace. There, it will disturb our lives. Psalm 37, verse 37 says, Mark the blameless man. Observe the upright, for the future of that man is peace. It says, make a note of the man who's walking blamelessly, who's walking in uprightness, was walking in righteousness because that man is going to walk in peace. So here's the key. He must choose to walk in righteousness. He must choose to walk blameless in uprightness and in integrity and in honesty before God and before man if we are to walk in the peace of God. These two things cannot be separated. The righteousness and peace meet, in the, the Bible says in Psalm 85 and verse 10. So walk in righteousness if you want to walk in the peace of God. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will help us and give us the courage and the grace to walk in righteousness, to walk blameless, to walk in uprightness, to walk in integrity, so that God, we can walk in the peace that comes from you. Help us to make right choices, right decisions. Give us the courage to stand for righteousness. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.